everybody. Welcome back to Dates with Diana. I hope everyone's doing fine. I know the times that we're living in right now, it's a little uncertain and it's leaving everybody uneasy, but we're going to get through this together. So let's just keep going. So today I wanted to do a jewelry haul and show you guys all the jewelry that I have. So stay tuned. So I'm going to show you guys my jewelry that I have and I put it all in this see-through plastic case. I got this from one of my cousins for my birthday and it's perfect because it's see-through and I can see the jewelry really quick. So if I have an idea of what I, what earrings I want to wear or necklace, I, I know where it's placed in here. So I'm going to open it and show you guys what I have. So I kind of divided it by the first row has earrings, the second row has earrings, rings, necklaces, and then the bottom one has all necklaces and body chains. Um, I do have a jewelry line called Diana Colby's Jewelry, so I'll show you guys some of the pieces I have here, and I keep them as samples to show people of what I can make. So let's dive in. Oh, well, I'm wearing hoops. Every girl needs hoops. Doesn't matter how big they are, how thin they are, silver, gold, you need to have a pair. Okay, and the bigger the better, right? So the first row, I have like my um, holiday earrings. These I wear for during Christmas. I got these at Walmart. I've had these for a long time, Christmas trees. These I got last year at TJ Maxx. I love going to TJ Maxx for jewelry. And just like they're metal, and it's like the bows that you put on the presents. These are really cute. And these I made for a Halloween costume that I made all from Dollar Tree and 99 cents items. And I did make a video on that too. And these spiders glow in the dark. Cool, right? I'd wear them with this outfit too. I have these by Betsy Johnson. It's a seahorse. And these are really cute because it's like mix and match. But it's within the same theme. Corals, seahorse. I love these. These are one of my favorite, favorite um, earrings to wear. Then I also have a bracelet. I also have bracelets. I don't really wear bracelets, but I do have some. This is gold. I've had this bracelet since I was in middle school. Let's see what else I have. I have this gold necklace. It was given to me on my birthday. my nameplate. This is gold too. This was given to me when I was I think like five or ten years old. So I feel like this is really popular now but amongst like Hispanic women we've been wearing our nameplates like this for a very very long time. And I have this too. This is vintage. This was given to me by my mom. I never wear this because I'm scared I'm going to lose it. But it's a peacock and it has diamonds and like all different types of stones. And peacock, peacock is one of my favorite animals. And that's just very vintage and very glam. I only wear this during special occasions. Again, because I don't want to lose it. And it's one of my favorite pieces. This is a very unique piece because this one, I bought it at Venice Beach. And there was a young man with his apprentice and they were making pendants out of coins. So this one, uh, I don't remember from what country it is, but it's from the Middle East somewhere. But 
this was, I think, it's Nefertiti. And so he just carved the rest, of, carved whatever was here, and it's just her. So oh, I love this one because I love ancient Egyptian artwork, and it's one of my favorite um, times of art, like, you know, during, I don't know what I'm saying, but it's one of my favorite um, times in history. I thought the wardrobe was really beautiful and the jewelry was really beautiful. Great craftsmanship. So I love that era. And I also made, a, this is from my collection from a very, very long time ago, but I made a bunch of like star earrings. Now, now that I look back on this, I don't know what I was thinking. I mean, something like this is cute, like something small, but I made some really huge ones. I don't know why, like they were so big. I mean, it just made my ear just hang, but something cute like this, just like one, I think it's super cute. And I just added some pearls to it. And I just made, and it's just meant to wear one. Maybe you can wear like a pearl here and just like this. And of course I have like a bunch of hoops, different sizes, bowls. I have this one, I have to fix the other one. I have this one. I love animal print. This one, I lost the other one. I don't know where it went. This was one of my favorite pairs to wear. That sucks, but it's okay. Hopefully one day I'll find it. I think it got lost just like socks get lost in the dryer. I think I just had it in my jacket and I don't know where the other one went. These are one of my favorites too to wear. They're like starfishes just with like fake diamonds. And I got these at Forever 21. They were just like five bucks. And these actually, um, when once we get to the necklace section, I'll show you what I pair with these. These I got at TJ Maxx. They're super cute. Very romantic. I love this look. Here's some hoops. These remind me of like the solar system. See, like the planet is in the middle. <laughs> These I got in Hawaii. The pearls, sterling silver. I went there last year. It was an epic trip. And these are made out of brass. These, these are really cool. So whenever I wear anything that's like bohemian and inspired, I like to wear these. Okay, so I don't, like I said, I don't really like to wear a lot of stuff around my wrist but I do have this watch. It needs a new battery. One day I was wearing it and I'm like, it's still three o'clock. It just stopped at three. I need a new battery. And then I have like pearl earrings. I have this cross. I need to get a silver chain to wear with it, but I've had this since I was in sixth grade. So I have like some stuff like pendant that I need to get necklaces for, like this one. I have no idea what I did with this old necklace, but I need to find, I need to buy them. Okay, so I'm going to show you. I had now the next section is from my jewelry line. So check it out. And also in the description, I link, I have a link to my shop. This is rainbow quartz with raw quartz on the bottom. So, it could be male and female jewelry. Oh, and also this one. This one's not from my line, but I got this one in Seattle. Me and my sister got one. So it's like a sister necklace. Um, I think this one went here. All right, back to my line. These are really popular amongst men. I've sold a bunch of these. It's just 
one coin necklaces. I sold a bunch of these as well, just like very simple one point crystal. And then this part is a bullet casing and it's vintage it's from a long time ago. And I put pyrite around it. Here's another one, just different size. What I like about the crystals, using them raw, is that they all have a different shape and a different color. And I like the rawness of it. I don't like it where, you know, there are some where people shave it down and smooth it out. I just, I like it. I like the raw look. Here's one. Now this stone is, I believe, volcanic rock. But I don't, I don't think it's that one. I think it's tourmaline. Taken. This is a sea urchin spine. Everything was found naturally, okay guys, so don't get crazy. Very simple, very cute. You could layer these. This one was inspired by Shira. Princess of Power. Here's another long one. Here's a really cool one, a bullet. And keys. You know what? Not to sound like anything, but I started making these key necklaces a really, really, really long time ago. And I was inspired because I saw belly dancers in San Diego, like in the early 2000s, and they had keys around their, they were wearing keys around their neck, like necklaces. And so I had broken up with my first boyfriend, um, like in 2010. And I started using keys into my jewelry and to my costuming because to me it represented like a new chapter in my life and a new door was opening up. So I started incorporating this and I swear to you, I didn't see anybody else but belly dancers wear them in their costuming. And then within like a couple years, like everybody started putting keys on their necklaces. So here's some belly dance coins. Super awesome. Okay, so then these are really cool. These I did for a show because I was in a all girl art group called Splendor Device, and we did an art show dedicated to Lisa Crank. And so I did these alien earrings. You could see the eyelashes on them, and I put a star because I love UFOs. I do believe in UFOs. We can't be the only ones. And this is acrylic. Um, you know, Saturn with the moon. And I also made rings. Unicorn. Because I'm a unicorn. I love this one. And then these are not from my line. But these are hearts. These are super cute. I just love jewelry. I believe that jewelry, it just pulls in all your outfit. It like finishes it, it completes it. So it's like jewelry and shoes. In another video, I'll show you guys my shoe collection. But jewelry just brightens you up. It sparkles your face. And these two, I love hearts. Now for my ring collection, I think I'm just gonna put them on. And you guys can just see them from my fingers. I don't have that many. This one needs to get fixed. This one I made myself. These I got from uh, like one of those Native American jewelry shops in Laguna Beach, California. This is my high school ring. I'm an Aquarius. Amethyst is my birthstone. Oh, 
these, these next earrings are vintage. I've had them for a very long time. And when I first bought them, I think they were like four years old. From what I was told. You guys, these are super glamorous. They remind me of like old Hollywood. Just glam. And these earrings I made from some sandals that ripped. And I wanted to keep the top part. So I just ripped off the top part and just turned them into earrings. Reuse, reduce, recycle. These are really cute. All right, now to get to my necklaces. Okay, so like I said, I make jewelry. This is one of my armbands. If you guys are interested, let me know. This one is me. My cousin tried to get this one for me. I was like, nope. Sorry. All right. So I make body chains too. This one is a body chain of a unicorn. And I did it myself. I carved it myself and did all that. I wear this with my bikini. This one is made out of ceramic by Scratch and Line, my friend's line. Super are cute because I love moons, crescent moons. This one's really cute. Oh, and this is the necklace that I like to wear with the star earrings that I was telling you guys about. Okay, so guess how much this cost me. You guys will never guess. But look at how cute this is. Just like that. This is another piece that I like to wear with my bikini at the beach. It's probably a little too extra for that bikini because I look too small and that's where I like to be. Okay, so this necklace was 50 cents. This was 50 cents. This was attached to a scarf and I took it off and added it to this. So I got this for one dollar and I got it at a rummage sale at a Christian church in Julian, California. They have them every year during September. I don't remember the date, but it's in September every year. And I made this one too. I love beach jewelry. I just love being at the beach. The beach to me is just, it makes me feel good hearing the sound of the waves and just laying on the beach. And this one I like to wear during the summertime. So cute. And these are just seashells at the beach. And I use a Dremel tool to um, make holes so I can pull the strings through. Oh, and then some, I have some of my costuming stuff in here too. So this is my unicorn horn or unicorn last week I wore. This one is just a black leather string with a crystal at the end. This one I like to wear as a belt and as a necklace. This is green. This is jade. My friend's mom gave this to me. This is really special. This one a friend gave to me when I used to work at Kohl's. The department store. She gave me this as a gift. This was, I think it was Donna Karen. Donna Karen has her line there. This is one of my favorite pieces too. I love everything black and gold. Black and gold, black and silver, metallic colors. I just love them. Oh, and see, this is my nameplate for my line. So I'll wear this whenever I sell or I just put it on my display and I just hang it so people know what the name is. Here's another piece that I had made for the art show. Just gonna I'll just put it on like this. No. 
I made this necklace for my dog. She has a two tone heart. And I have this one too that I made. Um, this one was for the Sailor Moon tribute show that we did. And I made two and I kept one. This one my boyfriend gave to me because I am his universe. <laughs> this one I made. Um, I used to take ceramic classes and this is what I did. I miss taking ceramics. I'm going to find another class as soon as we're able to go outside again so I can go back to making jewelry. Now, this one is a gold nugget that I got at, um, I don't remember the name of the city, but I was by Area 51 in Nevada, and I went to the Alien Research Center, and this is where I got it. So, I got a little bit of Area 51 in my room. You guys, back in the day, there was this store in San Diego that sold Indian jewelry. And it was owned by an Indian man who sold the most exotic jewelry. And the price was so low. Like, this was a dollar. And it's like real brass. This is ceramic. And look at how well made this was. A dollar. I wish that store was still around, but I got so much stuff from him. But this is one of the pieces. And actually, I've used this piece on a model um, in one of the Hobson's music videos that I styled. One girl is wearing it. So, I, like I said, I told you guys I love to use keys line because they have meaning these are two this one is for sale if anybody's interested it's a hundred bucks free shipping I got a plug you know this one is my tribally belly dance inspired necklace that I made it has cowrie shells makes a lot of noise, but I'm here to be known. And then I'm not going to take them, I'm not going to separate these, but these are just like pearl necklaces, different sizes and lengths. And this is a feather earring, sustainably sourced feathers, guys, okay? So don't get crazy. All right, guys, so that's my jewelry collection, so I hope you guys like it. Let me know what piece was your favorite, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace and love.